it's pretty hot out there for almost October. Yeah. <laughs> Hotter than I thought. Keep in mind, the normal high this time of the year is middle to upper 60s. Yeah. Our low tonight is going to be above that. Wow. So that gives you an idea as to just how uh, Off the charts, yeah. yeah. we got one more day of this before we're back to reality later this week. We're still at 77 on campus right now and still seeing some sunshine, but again, it's setting earlier and earlier each day. Right now, we're in the low 80s in some spots, still close to the mid 80s as you head further west where they saw more sunshine today. And we have also seen dew points go up as well, so the humidity is up. So with that, a bit of a heat index, right? It feels like 84 in Lansing right now. It feels like 83 in Jackson. We'll hang on to something like this tomorrow. But again, later this week, we're talking 60s. We may only top out in the upper 50s on Friday. What a big change coming, right? Take a look at the numbers. Tomorrow we top out around 83. We're back in the 60s for just about the rest of the next seven days. The exception, I think Friday we only top out in the upper 50s. I do think that we are dry Friday, right? So high school football, we should be okay. But yeah, it's going to be cool out there in the stands, that's for sure. Some rain may return this weekend, but the chances really get better the next couple of days, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Outside, all is quiet. Uh, we do have the warm front that is lifted north of us, right? That's why we did see some showers and thunderstorms spawn north of us, but back to the west is the cold front. And you can really pick out where it is. It's approaching Minneapolis right now, producing these showers. It's a very distinct line behind it. Much colder air. We're talking 40s up in Montana. We're not going to get quite that cold, but we will see the colder air move this way. You'll see here on future track. All is quiet tonight, mainly clear skies, although we, we will see a few more clouds building by daybreak on Tuesday. Clouds really increasing by lunchtime. Watch what happens though as we head through the afternoon and into the evening. Showers, maybe a few thunderstorms moving back into the region. Now I think chances are best from Lansing and points northward. But between Tuesday night, Wednesday and Thursday, I think all of us get at least some rain. Some could get a good dose. The heaviest rain should be well to our north. A few showers continue Tuesday night and into Wednesday. I think Wednesday is going to be the soggiest day or the wettest day, right? Keep the umbrellas handy as we will have multiple rounds of showers. Maybe a few thunderstorms move through and some of this rain looks to linger into early Thursday as well. But yeah, you know, we're hoping that we dry out in time for the weekend and you'll see that in the seven day. Tonight we only drop into the upper 60s, so a mild and muggy night. Most of the night we see clear skies, but we'll see a few clouds return by daybreak. Tomorrow we top out in the low to mid 80s, again well above the normal high this time of the year. We're talking 15 degrees above where we should be. I'm not really hearing any complaints, right? Should be dry for the first part of the day, but later in the evening showers and a few thunderstorms return mainly north of Lansing, though again, not going to rule out rain south, but most of what we see will be north of 96. Here's your seven day and you'll see showers on Wednesday. There is your soggy day of the week. A few more showers for parts of your Thursday, mainly the first half of the uh, day. Friday looks good, but boy, is it going to be cooler. A uh, chance returns overnight Saturday into Sunday, but with that being said, I think most of the weekend should be OK. okay. If you have plans this weekend, don't cancel them. A good lawn mowing weekend, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just don't put the shorts away quite yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, Brett, thank you.